Not to be the nagging old lady, but I told you not to push too hard. That was a complete fiasco. Hey, for what it's worth, I think you did okay out there. You got some decent hang time, even uh, given you were wearing, what, 70, 80 pounds of chainmail? On the stark scale of reckless yet daring heroics, I give it a solid 6 out of 10. Don't worry, you'll get there. With a little help. And where exactly am I going? Oh, that's the real question, isn't it? Sky's the limit for you, my friend. <laughs> Unless you'd be up for wearing a space helmet. You do breathe air, don't you? You know what? It doesn't matter. I, I couldn't help but overhear Auntie Caretaker over there telling you to get some rest. That uh, sounds like a good idea to me. I suppose I could keep you company on the way, seeing as our rooms are in the same direction and all. Besides, no one should be forced to walk the hallways around here alone. So, here we are. The old room, huh? It's, uh, it's not bad. Functional. Solid construction. Almost cozy. Love the antique furnishings from the early Mephisto collection. Full transparency, Hunter. There's another reason I asked to join you here, other than my abject terror of this entire facility. Stopped here before, while you were out. Wanted to surprise you with a nice little housewarming present. Was all set to write you a lovely welcome note, but I'm fairly certain that wasn't red ink in your quill. I assure you, there is nothing to fear here. Well, it's easy to say not to be scared of things that go bump in the night when you are a thing that goes bump in the night. I don't even watch horror movies, and now I'm living in one. H horror movies? Oh, you'll love them. Imagine a painting come to life. Moving, talking, telling a story, one that just happens to be pulled from your very worst nightmare. Or just stop by my room. Fairly certain there's one hanging there already. Well, I suppose I should leave before whatever monstrosity that is most definitely hiding under your bed jumps out, rips my face off, and then proceeds to feast on my soul. I'll leave you to it. May your sleep be filled with pleasant dreams, Tony. Right back at you. Oh, and if you hear the shrieking of a grown man, please ignore it. It's just me, walking to my room. <sighs> I'm Tony Stark, but if you're hearing this message, you already know that. When I'm not saving the world, I solve the world's problems with technological means, like the one you're holding. I call it the Spark, a secure information and communication device built only for superheroes. It does all the usual, private messages, pictures, and calls for some reason. But it also comes with access to Superlink, a private social network exclusively for your cape-wearing, world-saving compatriots. You might ask, Tony, Aren't you just repurposing a failed product from your communications division? If you do, I'll revoke access and let everyone else know you're a jerk. I call it the Wonder Man rule. Never was enough room for my armor in this thing. so happy then.
old journal. Maybe it is time I start writing in it again. Enjoy the moment. She's been visiting your door every morning for the past 300 years. Oh, it must have been so hard on her. Not just her. I suppose that's why I might have been a little curt before. A little? You already made the ultimate sacrifice once. Maybe I'm in no rush to see you do it again. We do not choose our destiny. But we can choose to duck. First lesson you ever taught me. And still the most important. Especially now that you have all these eyes on you. I have noticed. To these people, you are a being of myth and legend. A grand hero of old. And they're right. You are a hero. But I also know the battle that rages within your soul. It's not enough that you are a hero. You need to decide what type of hero you will be. I'm sure there will be plenty of opportunity for that in the days to come. For now, I would head to the forge. Our new guests are eager to show you something. This was a lot easier when it was just you and I beheading the Dark Legion as we traipsed through the woods. Don't forget about Agatha. I never could. Charlie was restless all night. I should have known something was wrong. We'll talk more later, but for now, Stark has requested your presence in the forge. I think he has another present for you. Who's a good girl? It is my Charlie girl. <laughs> Caretaker told them no more guns in the house. Captain Marvel is an exception. So, he's supposed to be playing nice, right? Now? Think you can tell your friend inside there to turn it up a few hundred Kelvin? I could. However, it might shatter the containment spell, preventing him from incinerating this facility. I think we're good. And just in time. The forge has certainly changed. Right. Caretaker said this all happened after your siesta. What spooky castle would be complete without its own Babylonian demon-powered furnace? Sumerian fire demon. His name is Babs. Oh, now it all makes sense. Well, once you get past the esoteric terror of the situation, I've found this thing actually has some uses. Molecular bonding, breaking down evil gamma serums, fashion accessorizing... Mm, yes, speaking of... Oh, right. It's ready. Your armor seemed to offer minimal protection against the Venom creature. I noticed. Yeah, I thought you could use an upgrade. Well hammered, well fired, Caretaker did not mention that you two were such skilled smithies. Yep, I am Iron Smithy. Perhaps you should just 
try it on. Still think I could have used a cloak. Stylish, damn near indestructible. And we even got the size right. Not bad for our first collaboration. I still think it could have benefited from a cloak. I hate to admit it, but somehow this ancient forge puts any arc reactor I've got to shame. Who would have thought mystically bound demon power would be so damn energy efficient? Or carbon neutral? Certainly got that new suit of yours done a lot faster than I expected. Speaking of, what's the verdict, boss? It is nice having an armorer on demand. Anytime. I tried to make this version a little less palatable to that symbiote thing. It was this close to making it menthol flavored. But tools are just one part of the equation. You gotta know how to use them too. You were out, what, 300 years before we woke you from your eternal rest? I'm betting you have questions, so ask away, Hunter. Thanks for catching me up on things. Anytime. Oh, and speaking of things, remember that uh, creepy gamma goop you found from that hopped up Hydra soldier? Well, I gave it a peek and it explains a lot. If you have a minute, meet me at the anvil over there and I'll walk you through it. I promise it'll be worth your time. Now, I doubt advanced gamma thermodynamics was a hot topic at Yield Demon Hunting School, so I'm just going to give you the condensed version. I appreciate that. Closest I've ever seen to this substance is pumping through Bruce's veins. Part gamma accelerant, part unknown element. Calling it COIL for now, given its unique atomic structure. Man, I love acronyms. This stuff is more volatile than Nick Fury on a Monday morning. But Hydra doesn't seem to mind. They are using it to get stronger. Exactly. A few drops would make your average salamander look like Fin Fang Foom. Thankfully, with a little help from Dr. Spooky and our haunted oven over here, I think two can play at this game. You are not suggesting we start injecting ourselves with it. No, 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 nothing like that. Though I can see some future applications for my energy drink line, I was thinking we apply this stuff towards upgrading our equipment. I like where this is going. Just give me a little time here and I can whip up some pretty fun toys. How about we give Hydra a taste of their own gamma-powered medicine for a change? Uh, give me a sec. Okay, what's up? Welcome, Hunter. Hunter, when you have a minute, come meet me in the yard. Welcome to the yard. At least that's what we're calling it these days. Caretaker put me in charge of your training. Too bad she didn't listen to me yesterday. Now that we know what we're up against, I think we can all use the practice. Any questions? None. All right then. Nice to get some fresh air. Hardly any cobwebs or ghosts out here. Let's do this.
later. Like the way you move out there, Hunter. Guess Doctor Strange picked the right supernatural demon hunter to resurrect. I'm Carol. Carol Danvers. But you can call me Captain Marvel. Kidding. Carol's fine. Just thought I'd throw a bone to the Avengers PR team. Not gonna lie. Going a few rounds in Vampire Guy's Magic Thunderdome sounds like fun, but we've got bigger fish to fry. Well, not so much fish as that ginormous invulnerable sewer monster that swallowed the Sanctum. Every lock has its key. True, if only a man-eating alien demon monster hadn't eaten ours. But that got me thinking. Strange Caretaker and the rest of the funky bunch can try and magic their way through that shield all they want. <sighs> if my time as a pilot taught me one thing, it's that sometimes you've got to find a workaround. As in Hydra, they've got to know the way inside. Steve's always said they aren't much for talking. Then again, I'm told I can be rather persuasive when I need to be. Just how far are you willing to go, Captain? Let's just say that I'm willing to unleash the power of a quantum singularity white hole on them if need be. A quantum what? You'll see. Find me in the war room when you're finished here. There's a few things we should discuss. Oh, and Hunter? Welcome back from the dead. What's happened? Probably time to head out, right? Man, I just wish I could have brought my brother Gabe along. He'd love this place. Nothing is certain these days, but these readings are too distinct to ignore. The Gamma signature is... Sorry, Bruce, we lost you. Did you say... Ow. The gamma signature is completely inverted. The daughter nuclei are being reabsorbed into the parent nuclei, which is impossible. If the gamma signature from the Sanctum is really that unique, Bruce, then couldn't we just... Sorry, we're still working out a few gremlins in the system. Try sunlight, and whatever you do, avoid water. Oh, wait, you're being serious? We should be able to track this new Gamma Signature to its source then, right? I'd do it myself, but we seem to be having a little IT trouble today. <laughs> Please. Old Central here is ready to grind through that data like chunk. What exactly is a Central? C-E-N-T-R-A-L. Cognitive Encryption Net Transmogrification. Uh, we'll figure it out later. Sending coordinates now. Hope your gremlins enjoy gamma spectroscopy. Ah, well, he's been a little moody lately, ever since, you know, the problem with the big old green I guy. heard that. Banner can't turn into the Hulk? Not sure if we should be frightened or relieved. That makes two of us. Oh, hey, come on. Happens to everyone. Well, okay, not everyone. Nice work, Bruce. I know that place. Creepy abandoned warehouse in the bad guy part of town. My favorite kind. Anybody up for paying it a visit? Definitely. Aw, see that? Teamwork goosebumps. Find me when you're ready. Multi-million dollar piece of experimental technology, and she kicks it. It was just recently that the Hudson Yards development restoration...
gamma signatures and unstable isotopes aren't really in my wheelhouse. So we'll be patching Dr. Banner through from a bench. Scratch abandoned off the description of this place. You seeing this, Bruce? Getting all sorts of weird down there. Johan Fanoff. That dick. I heard he was dead. Well, hoped is perhaps the more accurate description. Calls himself Faustus now. Hydra's resident mad scientist. Not just Hydra's. Lilith's. That's magic coming from those crates. I can feel it. Yeah? How about gamma radiation? You feeling that too? Because that's some pretty evil looking Hydra tech down there. Gamma and magic. <sighs> Gonna need you to use your science brain on this one, Bruce. We need to approach this situation carefully. Combining those energies is an explosive proposition at best. Think scalpel, not hammer. Stealth, not strength. Yeah, I don't do stealth. Kill them. His fundamental science must be sound. The device would have surely exploded otherwise after your display, Carol. Learned it by watching you, Bruce. I've never been one to buy into the science of magic, but the data I'm seeing is hard to ignore. There are more things in heaven and earth than in you. You know you're talking to a vampire, an alien hybrid, and a resurrected demon hunter, right?
never seen that before. It's gonna be fun. You will regret ever facing me. Regroup and await reinforcements. Is it possible he somehow stabilized the rate of decay within the particles themselves? How else could he be achieving such a high yield? Oh, no. Be sure to ask him when we're done punching out the bad guys. your strength. to test your worth. Perhaps Faustus's device is worth further study. If you wouldn't mind, Carol, I'd prefer it if you and your supernatural associates not... Smash it? Yes. Welcome, assistants. Some for the rest of us. Go no, now, quickly! Let's go, go, go! Ah, the perfect opportunity to field test mother's device. For the record, Bruce, I did not smash that. Noted, Carol. Perhaps you might direct all that energy towards your newfound adversaries instead. And the mysterious cargo they're attempting to escape with? We have the upper hand, for now.
feel more like myself every day. analysis of the blast confirms high levels of gamma and various unknown energies unknown to you there is dark magic at work here we must not let hydra escape with it thing to worry about. Approximately 16,342 more to go. I suggest starting with the remaining Hydra forces in your vicinity. Appreciate it. You had your chance to escape. Even for Hydra. You really want to keep doing that? able to recreate Faustus's experiment or track potential future variance gamma signatures without a baseline resonant sample from his initial occult catalyst. Got it. Stop the truck. You are lucky to still be breathing. Good to be back. Maybe you should teach me that one. Should get the blood moving. They hope to break my resolve. Now I'd normally be tromping through the warehouse hurling the puny truck at the moon. Don't worry, Bruce. You do not have to show off for me, Blade. Walk in the light. The power of the light.
Everything according to plan. Hydra standards have fallen a great deal. Let's do this. Nice move. Move like that once centuries ago. We've done it. What is this thing? Bad guy crane, full of bad guy stuff. I know those symbols from the time of the first hunt. That glyph means barrier. That one, almighty. Something, something. Gods and demons. So a spooky bad guy crate. Very spooky. Designed to contain powerful magic. Be careful. <sighs> Got it. Don't cross the streams. Never do. How about we get this thing back to the Abbey and see for ourselves? <laughs> Nice job out there, kid. I mean, I didn't get Hydra bombed until my tenth run with the Avengers. Kid? You do know that I'm a good three centuries older than you, right? Then you've got a lot of catching up to do. Okay, Abbey Tournament, tonight. Sure about that? Last one got a little heated. The Eternal Spirits of Vengeance take technical fouls very seriously. Especially in fourth quarter. Forget it. Tonight is movie night. It is always movie night. Exactly. Wow, out of jail again? Who made this game? Wilson Fisk? Well, if parking is free, clearly no one from Manhattan. You know what they say. All work and no play is how we ended up with Ultron. Come on. You should hang out. should rest another time.